Hi everyone. Okay, in this video, I am going to uh, show you an alteration that I need to do. Now this um, this jumpsuit is my daughter-in-law's, and she was saying that the crotch seam was too high up against her body and giving her wedgies or whatever, and she wanted to know if there's anything I can do. She opened it up and she's like, oh, I love it like this. But since I don't have any fabric like this to use as a gusset, that would not work. So I'm going to try out a theory that I have and I want to see if it works. And so I have been thinking about this for such a long time and it's not anything that I have ever needed to do it's just you know how your brain just goes to these things alterations are what I do and so I think about problems that people may have and I just think about it and then wonder how I would fix it so this is my thought on it if your crotch is too high then you would probably need to bring this down here and make the crotch line here. It seems to make sense to me. Um, I've not actually read up on it, so I don't know if anybody else anybody else has ever tried it. So I'm going to I'm going to bring it down one inch. So I'm going to bring this down and we're going to meet somewhere in the middle. Okay, so this is not really leaving very much chalk on my garment. So I'll pin it. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use a gather stitch so it's the longest stitch so that if it doesn't work I can easily take it out and we'll figure something else out. Because um, the only way, other way I'm thinking you could resolve this is to use a gusset. I would have to find a fabric that would match the blue and then say don't wear it anywhere but home. Um, I do have another idea, but I'm not going to talk about it right now. So I'm going to get that one done and then I'll do this one. So I'll, like I said, I'll do it with a slip stitch or um, a gather stitch and then see how it works. If it doesn't work, she can take it out. But this is something I've thought on for a, such a long time. You know, because people say you can't really, you can't really mess with the rise of your pants. And the rise is from here to here. And I, I just don't believe that and maybe I'll prove them right and maybe I'll prove them wrong. So the rise is from the crotch seam up to the waist. So if you have a pair of pants that fit the waist and fit the length, but the crotch is too high, I'm thinking this will resolve it and this will lengthen your rise. Just to put this out there ahead of time and then I'll see if I'm right or wrong. I will have to take this seam out so that it will lay down properly and then she can get an idea if it's actually going to work. But I'll do that after I sew it. Okay, it's on the longest length. I'm going to stitch right on the previous stitching line so that it locks this one in a little bit so it doesn't just come out. I'm not gonna back stitch. I'll just leave that tail there.
backstitch. <laughs> so used to backstitching, I want to make sure I don't backstitch on this one. Okay. I feel there's fabric gathered underneath, so I need to make sure it's smoothed out. No backstitching. Okay. So I added another length and another inch to the rise on this. Now, I'm not going to cut this off because she said if it doesn't work, she wants to be able to leave that there so we can figure out if there's something else we can do with it. So I am just going to take this stitching out from here to there. Okay, now we're going to sew the crotch seam back up and I'm just going to lay one on this side and one on this side and I'm going to use the same seam allowance that the maker used when they made these so I'm trying not to adjust too much in that area and again we're going to use a gather stitch which is the longest stitch and I'm not back stitching I'm going to go past the original stitching make sure this doesn't come undone now unfortunately my daughter-in-law will not be on camera to explain how it feels but I'll let you know okay so I took the jumper to my daughter-in-law and I said is it better she's like nope doesn't feel like you did anything maybe like an inch and I'm like that's perfect because that's all I did was an inch and then she got all excited so um, we are going to try something else. She said that now there's I'm trying to get my words together here for my thoughts. She said that feels like I dropped it about an inch, which I did. So that's good. But she, she, is, she has a shape. She's thin, but she has a booty and she doesn't like when her clothes cup her bottom. So she wants that fixed. And I said, well, there's only so much I can do with that. So I can't, that would have to do with this. I have to make sure that when I bring this line down, I'm going to bring it back down to here and take it, follow the original seam line as far as I can before I take that, that curve because she wants an additional two inches. So she is, pushing my skill level, which I love because um, I like to be pushed into doing better work. That's why I love when you guys suggest things and then it might sometimes take me a while to get to it because I have to think through everything and think about all the pros and cons and all the things I feel like might happen if I do this or that or whatever. Um, so that's why I like to sew for kids too. My grandkids, 
they'll point out every single little like thing like oh uh, this thread I can feel it right here and I'll fix it but yeah crazy kids so we're going to lower this two more inches so ruler I'm going to pin it because my chalk doesn't show up very well. Okay, that's a total of three inches. I'm going to pull this thread out. Now the goal is, is to keep that line coming down straight as long as possible before I go into the curve. Now you can see it looks like it kind of just starts going into the curve. See what this looks like. I'm gonna try that. And again, I'm doing this with a gather stitch, so if it doesn't work, I can just take it out, but I don't have to um I'm not cutting it. Now this is this really doesn't have this is not gonna have much of a curve, so I'm wondering if that's going to be a problem in pulling that in gosh I wish I was live so I can ask you guys what you thought I'm trying to keep as much out here but you want enough to go in I'm going to bring this out just a little bit and then turn in. Hopefully that'll work. Just kind of meet in the middle. Okay, flip it over and do the other part. three inches because it was one I have to add another two okay this is the back so this is where it needs a bigger curve Let's sew it. 
almost backstitched. Okay, now we're going to do the um, inseam and again I will lay one of those um, one crotch seam to one side the other to the other side I'm trying not to have to cut that off until I get everything perfected so that I still have options Now I didn't lay this across this way because that curve, is, I feel like it would pull if I sewed it to the inseam. So I'm just catching this area here. Don't backstitch. Okay, going in for a second fitting. Okay, second fitting was a success. It was much better. She loves it. Said it's now her date night outfit. <laughs> so I'm going to take the seams, the crotch seam out. I am going to, I'm not taking these seams out. I mean, I took the inseam out. I'm going to just stitch over this in the uh, 2.5 on my machine and the other side. And then I will serge everything off, clean it up, and then sew it. And then we'll be finished. So I've already shortened the length of my stitch. I'm just gonna go over this one with, only because I don't wanna have to take this out and then redraw the lines and all that jazz. Now you backstitch. Do your best to keep it as close as possible. to the other side as well okay I'm going to grab all my thread tails to one side I'm going to align my serger thread from the garment against the needle and then start there and then kind of 
follow that line. side same thing I gather all the, the loose threads to the side so that my machine will just trim them off for me now I'm going to get my other machine back up here and then sew the inseam closed Okay, now we're going to sew up the inseam. Make sure your stitch is back to 2.5 and your um, needle is in the proper position. We're going to back stitch because this is the permanent stitching. Now, could I have done this with my serger and just been done with it with one pass? Yes, I could. I just didn't think about it. So now I will get my serger back up here and I will serge the edges. Okay. The very last stitch is to serge the um, raw edges of the inseam. I'm just going to clean up some threads and that will be it for this job. Now, from what I gather from her, is this perfect as though it was made like that, made for her? No, because um, not all garments are made for every kind of person. Um, that's why there's a job for me. Um, now it fits so much better that I did drop the crotch three inches and it has, is not cupping her backside like it was. So much improved, perfect, probably not. But if you guys try this alteration, let me know. Thanks. Bye.